Welcome to Sandwiches in History. Today from the Delineator Home Institute, Department of Service, Party Sandwiches Pamphlet, really, it's not really a cookbook, uh, from 1928, sent in by Moira. Thank you, Moira. We're gonna be making the ham and anchovy sandwich. Okay, first thing we gotta do is pound some ham to a paste. Now we add in some onion juice, just grated an onion and squeezed it. Drop or two of Tabasco and butter. Get that all mixed together. Now we add in made mustard, a little paprika, and anchovy paste mixed with cream butter. And it didn't say how much, so hopefully I was judicious. Let me just put that on the bread. Okay, let's give this ham and anchovy sandwich a go. That's actually really good. <laughs> it's kind of like a deviled ham. You got the Tabasco, barely any onion noticeable. The anchovy paste is just bringing a little back note of saltiness. It's not fishy at all. And it's working really well with the ham. That is pretty good. I do want to plus it up though. I'm going to keep it simple and just add some flat leaf parsley. Okay, let's give this ham and anchovy sandwich plussed up with a little flat leaf parsley a go. Now you've got a little vegetal freshness to it and it contrasts with the meat and the butter. Okay, well I gotta admit the ham butter looked a little bit like cat food, um, but it fortunately tasted quite good. Now, this sandwich clearly is not meant for a lunch or a dinner or anything like that. It's not a meal, it's more of a snack. Um, but the combination of the ham, the anchovy, uh, the Tabasco, the onion juice, I thought was quite good. I'm gonna give that a seven. Plus up with a little bit of a flat leaf parsley, getting a little vegetal note in there, seven and a half. It is tasty, I'm definitely gonna finish that. And I'd like to try this again, but with uh, mayonnaise instead of butter. Mmm, but that's for another time. All right, see you tomorrow.